Hi. Something totally different that I've just finished reading. Uh, a selection of John Clare's poetry. Now, I used to, in, my, in the old days, I used to teach. And on the national curriculum, there was only ever one of John Clare's poems that I had to teach, which is, is bizarre. He's a, a poet who's almost local to me. And I picked up this book when um, I went to visit his house where he was born in Helst Helston. Helpston, sorry, Helpston. Um, he was born in 1793 in Helpston and he died in 1864 in an asylum in Northamptonshire. Um, he's known as the pastoral poet and his nature poems are, are beautiful. They, they show a real love of the countryside and the details he gives. Um, Oh, he, he picks up, picks out the slightest little detail, uh, the changing seasons. Anyone who's, who's a, if you've ever been in a plane and you've looked down at the, the sort of checkerboard of, of uh, fields and seen the different colours and, and he describes, describes those. Um, I mean, this is, this is from his poem, Summer Tints. When summer's mellowing pencil sweeps his shades of ripening tinges o'er the checkered plain, like tawny Oakland, Oaklands with their yellow blades and bearded corn like armies on parade. So he's got he's got the imagery of the um, nature painting the fields. Um, and, and that's the sort of thing you see when you're on, the, on a plane. But he, he sort of picked out, picked out those details beautifully. Um, I prefer his nature poems. He, he does a lot of other poems as well. But I personally, I love the day. I like like the nature poems. I think they're super. Um, he writes poems about the birds, about you know, hedgehogs and things like this. And the sort of the yellow hammer, he describes the yellow hammer's nest beautifully as um, last year's harvest left upon the land, lined thinly with the horse's sable hair, five eggs pen scribbled over lilac shells resembling writing scrawls, which fancy reads as nature's poesy and pastoral spells. I mean, the details there, so the, the, the eggs with all the little, little delicate bits on them. Um, he does describe country life. I mean, he's, he's writing from sort of 1793. He's born 1973, so he's, he's looking at the early 1800s. And he picks out um, the, the poem in here, talks about Christmas for uh, in the early 1800s. And he describes, he takes you back to an age before PlayStations, before iPhones, before consumerism took over, everyone, everything was simple and people, Christmas was a time of family, of community, of just simple pleasures and simple joys. And, and it's just beautiful the way he describes it. Let me find it. Where did I find it? Um, oh, I've forgotten which bit I was going to pick out now. Um, Simple family and friends, where am I looking? Oh, bear with me, bear with me. Ah! Okay. Along the glowing hearth at night, the harmless laugh and winter tale goes round, while parting friends delight to toast each other or their ale. The cotter oft with quiet zeal will musing o'er his Bible lean, while in the dark the lovers steal to kiss and toy behind the screen. It's just simple pleasures of 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 life at the time and and the toys would be you know a sort of a, a rocking horse and and things like that you know none of this consumerism it was just beautiful i i did as i said i picked up this po book of poetry when i went to the house and it's taken i'd forgotten all about it but it's just having a sort of scoot around and tidy up during lockdown i came across and i thought well you know i've never actually read it properly and um and that's what i did so um just a bit of something different some of the poetry so um i'll leave you now and and i'll talk about something other next time um see you later bye